roadside imports is going to get very explicit. Are there any Americans left out there? Do you care about the Constitution and the First Amendment? Well, the big pickle eater Les the A-hole from Benchmade has once again proved that he is unethical and immoral and he just pisses on the First Amendment and our Constitution. Anybody who supports Benchmade and its principles should be ashamed of themselves. Benchmade is a disgrace to America. Roadside Imports filed the DMCA Copyright Act counter notification to YouTube and it will be reviewed in 10 to 14 days. The Better Business Bureau was notified of the unethical and immoral practices of Benchmade Complaint case number 22208498. The company, Benchmade Knife Company, has made false claims to copyright of my video content on YouTube. I filmed videos and recorded audio, all that is the copyright content belonging to me, JB. Benchmade has falsified information and submitted it to YouTube that they own my copyright material and is a violation of the First Amendment and harassment. I want it noted to the Better Business Bureau of the reckless disregard for U.S. laws to be noted on the report with the Better Business Bureau for this to reflect the company's ranking. My desired resolution, I want all of the false claims to be removed from my sole copyright material and an apology made for making false claims. Now get ready, Benchmade responded very quickly, and it's a good laugh. JB's complaint is inappropriate for the Better Business Bureau resolution because his complaint does not involve a consumer-to-business or business-to-business -business transaction that relates to the advertisement or sale of a product or service. JB alleges that Benchmade has made false claims to ownership of copyright, violated his First Amendment rights, and committed harassment. There is no mention of advertising or a sale. Therefore, the complaint on its face does not meet the Better Business Bureau's complaint accepted guidelines. Mr. JB and Benchmade have been involved for a better part of a year in a dispute regarding patent and trademark infringement by his company, Roadside Imports. JB posted a number of videos on YouTube in connection with this dispute in which he criticized Benchmade and urged a boycott of their products. JB repeatedly used Benchmade's logo, consisting of the word Benchmade, incorporating a butterfly design in his videos. This logo is protected by both copyright and trademark laws and Benchmade objects to its unauthorized use. Therefore, Benchmade filed a complaint with YouTube. YouTube responded by removing the videos. Benchmade does not claim any copyrights in JB's words or video content. All right, it's time for my rebuttal. Well, the Better Business Bureau has a mission statement that Benchmade fails to understand, so let's point this out to them. The mission statement, our mission is to promote and foster the highest ethical relationship between business and public through voluntary self-regulation, consumer and business education, and service excellence. Our mission is to be the leader in advancing marketplace trust by creating a community of trustworthy businesses, setting standards for marketplace trust, encouraging and supporting business practice, celebrating marketplace role models, and denouncing substandard marketplace behavior. So now that the objectives are established clearly, by the Better Business Bureau, it is their mission to report unethical business practices and immoral behavior to the public. Now, I want the Better Business Bureau to understand that this issue is being broadcast over the internet to clearly show the public how the Better Business Bureau handles matters and if they simply push this under the rug that it will put a stain on their reputation as well. The matter is serious and Benchmade's immoral and unethical matters should reflect their business record to the public that is the sole purpose of the Better Business Bureau. The statements about Benchmade logo is invalid because I'm not using them 
against the U.S. trademark laws. If Coke put Pepsi logos in their ads and vice versa to show how the other party is inferior than using the logo to show the consumer what an immoral and unethical business Benchmade is and how they produce items such as the Infidel that is inferior to other products on the market is clearly not a violation. The ACLU will be the deciding factor on this because a class action lawsuit is underway because of these matters. But it does need to be reported to the Better Business Bureau because it is their mission statement to report unethical and immoral business practices to the general public and Benchmade's reputation with the Better Business Bureau should reflect such disgraceful and disgusting practices. Now, of course, everybody loves the legal mumbo-jumbo, so I need to slam it right back in the face of Benchmade. Trademark law protects names and logos, including names and logos of brands. Copyright law, on the other hand, protects such things as artwork and songs. Making claims to copyright infringement when speaking about trademark is not a valid claim to copyright. Fair use is a doctrine in the United States copyright law that allows limited use of copyrighted material without requiring permission from the rights of the holders such as for use of scholarship or review. It provides for legal non-licensed citation or incorporation of copyrighted material in another author's work under a four-factor balancing test. In the United States, trademark law includes a fair use defense, sometimes called trademark fair use, to distinguish it from the better known fair use doctrine in copyright. As with copyright law, the trademark fair use doctrine is premised in significant part on the First Amendment guarantees of free speech. Fair use is consistent with the more limited protection granted to trademarks generally specific only to the particular product market and geographic area of the trademark owner. This information is extremely important to the Better Business Bureau because of the businesses of this size and reputation should understand the fair use doctrine and knowingly understand that I did not violate anything and the immoral and unethical practice of limiting free speech is disgraceful and disgusting and that the Better Business Bureau should note this on the Benchmade's Better Business Bureau record.